Okay, today I want to talk a little bit about the horns alignment, um, the basic horns actions. You see a lot of horns in the NBA and in college, and it's filtering down to the high school level. I've been running variations of horns for a long time now. I think it's a great way to try to get a specific shot or to use the alignment as an entry into whatever your base offense is if you can't get a shot out of an action that just flows into whatever it is you're running. So we're going to go over some of the ways that horns can be used in just the basic form. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do um, just kind of with your creativity out of this alignment. Um, I'm not going to talk about a lot of that stuff today, but there's a lot of things that you can do with this. So as you can see from my fast draw playbook that I have a lot of horn stuff in here. Um, I have not used all of these in games before. Obviously there's so many of them, but I like to kind of collect them. And if there are certain teams that can use certain ways to run this, um, then I'll certainly do it. There's just so much really fun stuff that you can do out of this. Um, here's the horns loop play that I showed in the quick hitter video. This is where you loop the player up and then try to get a guard to get a layup and then a flare screen after that. So just a lot of fun stuff you can do with this. So here is the basic horns alignment where you've got your post players here in the slots. Shooters are in the corner, point guard with the ball. Now these do not necessarily have to be traditional posts. You can put a shooting guard in this spot. You can put a, this can be a stretch four. It really doesn't matter. Um, it does help if at least one of these players can play high low, but you don't have to have two traditional bigs in this spot. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these actions just out of basic horns. Nothing fancy here, no no set plays. We would just call horns and, and run this. Um, so we're going to be looking at some of, of my teams in the summer that would use this because it's very easy to install this. So first option is always for the guard just to take the ball right to the basket. So let's back this up just a little bit here. So here's our alignment. I would like this shooter here to be a little more in the corner. Uh, to drag her defender down, and normally if this player is going to help, we're going to kick this to a shooter for a three. But this guard here sees that gap and just attacks. Same thing here, horns alignment. Now let's look at this defender here. Normally, this defender is not going to be as asleep as this person is, but... If they don't switch off of this and it's a good screen, this is normally what you're going to get. Okay, moving forward, same thing. There's the gap, driving a foul. Another drive and a basket. So what you're going to see here is a screen and then this post pair is going to roll right down the middle. We don't want this post to roll wide in case the guard would drive. So she's supposed to go almost right down the rim line while this post player pops to the top. Get it inside and score. Now this is a great example of not necessarily waiting for the post to get deep and just hitting her right off the roll. This was a very talented passing guard and the girl setting this screen is now playing for a really good Division II program. Here we go again. We're in horns. Screen. Hit the roller. Here's another example. This, this kid had very good hands. All right, now we're kicking the ball. We'll show a couple of these to where when the guard comes off of the screen, she comes down, she gets help from the ball side corner, which a lot of teams are scared to do, and this is why. She steps back, and that is about as uncontested a three as you're going to get. 
kick to the corner. Now, one of my favorite actions out of horns is right here. So now we have come off the screen. Let's back this up just a bit. We have come off the screen. We didn't like the roll. We don't have the corner. So our next option is we're going to throw it right back to the top of the key. And then the post that rolled is going to seal for a pretty easy high-low. Here it is again. Great way to get the ball inside. Both players go after the roller. We still get it to her. Back in horns again. Double screen. Throw back. They switched. Point guards guarding our post player. She has to foul. Here it is again. Throw back. Don't know how to guard it. Both of them go after the top player. Layup. Very effective if this kid can shoot. And she could. She was a prototypical, really good stretch four. So let's watch that again. So the screener is going to roll. The opposite horns post will just pop to the top of the key. And her defender is here trying to take this away. Throw back to the top. Easy shot for that kid. She was not a traditional three-point shooter, but she was so open that <laughs> she took it anyway. Okay, so now we've run our action. Didn't have the drive. Didn't have a corner. And right now, that shot's not open, and she's guarded on the high-low. So from here we would go right into our ball screen offense. To where we would swing it, and we were running the, uh, the European ball screen offense at this point. We would swing and chase. This post pops up. Come off the screen. Kick. High-low again. Pretty easy score. So these are all really simple reads that you can put in with a team and just run basic horns. Um, it's not complicated. It's just, you know, you have sort of a progression of reads that you go through. Um, if a guard can't get to the rim and gets help from the ball side corner, she's going to kick for a three. Uh, guard comes off, the roller's open, hit her. Don't have anything, throw back to the top, high, low for a shot or a, or a, or a layup. If not, make a pass, flow into your offense. So that is the basic, very basic horns offense. So in an earlier video on quick hitters, I spoke a little bit about the horns loop set, but I wanted to sort of expand on that in this video to show more clips of it and how it can be a very effective set to run out of horns. So here's your basic idea, and then I'll show some actual clips of it. So we would run horns loop again sort of as a slightly more complicated entry into our basic offense. So if we didn't score off of this, we would just flow into our ball screen stuff. So here's what's going to happen. Your point guard is going to dribble over. There's going to set a little pin screen for this player that's looping up. That's why we call it loop, or why Cheryl Reeves calls it loop. That's, that's who I took this from, the uh, NBA, or WNBA coach. So we're going to throw the ball to the loop up player. This could be a shot or a drive, but usually we're going to kick it to this post player here that's, that is going to step out. Then this guard tries to face cut and get a layup. If that's not there, we follow that up with a flare screen. And if that's not a shot or a drive, she chases into a ball screen and we're right into our offense. So that's just one example of sort of the fun stuff you can do out of horns. And we'll get to some, some clips now. Okay, so here's our first our first look at this. We've looped this player up. And this is the defender that we're trying to pick on right here. And remember, we have a player in the corner that you can't see. But on the pass to the pop-out post, you can see her flashing right behind her. No idea she's even there. Easy bucket. All right, we're going to loop up again. There's our little pin screen. Pops up kick to the post, face cut, not even a great pass, we still score. Here we go again, loop up, kick out, doesn't have it. Here's our flare. Maybe get a little deeper on that, we have an open three. She doesn't take this, 
but we chase it right back into a ball screen. And they don't guard this very well at all. We get a wide open look. She usually knocks that down. All right, loop up, kick out. Oh, hang on, that was a shot. Let's watch that again. So here's our loop up. She is. She gets hung up on the pin screen, this kid does, and she is wide open, and she was normally a really knockdown shooter, but great look. We'll take that. We're looping up again. Good look. Definitely will take those open ones. This was a, this is a really good player here, and they just got lost, and you could not give her that shot. Again, completely lost on that loop up play. It's normally not that easy, <laughs> but again, sometimes you're going to be able to drive this over play, get to the bucket. Okay, loop up. Pop out, not open. Throw the throw the flare. We, but we were, we threw it through the post. So if that flare is not open, we would just throw post, then swing, then into our offense. There you go. Loop up again. She's chasing. Kick it out. The guard's not open. We're going to throw it again through the post. She's going to go into a DHO and roll, drive, get to the rim. All right, last one. We actually turned this over, but I wanted to show you. There's our face cut. She is open, but we have a kind of a bad pass here. But look at the flare. This is this is such a hard action to guard. Um, everyone is kind of paying attention to all this stuff, and our best shooter is wide open, but we make a bad pass on the entry, but I want to show you that anyway. So that's the idea behind loop. Um, I, I really like that set. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to teach. It's been very effective for me. Um, you can use that as just a standard set play or an entry into whatever offense that you're going to run.